Just five years ago, schools had no roofs. Children sat under palm trees, trying to get away from the unforgiving heat. Teachers did the best they could, but if feeding children's minds was difficult, there was malnutrition. One child a day died. That was life five years ago for the people of the Huayutaya region, an area tucked between Venezuela and Colombia, a corner of the world lost to the ages. And most hope. The YU is a matriarchal group of more than 500,000. The land is the source of their inspiration. But the land and the water have not been good to them. They live along a river that is polluted. And they work the ground that hardly yields a livelihood. And while oil pumps fortunes into the Venezuelan economy, Water costs the YU far more than gasoline. Nearby, contraband traffics freely while the people struggle. They have long yearned for a better day. With real schools, working bathrooms, and a means to earn a living. For so long, this was only a dream. Too impossible to consider. Yet now, it's becoming a reality through the efforts of everyday people who care. And the extraordinary things they make possible through the Wayutaya Foundation. Five years ago, there was only one story. Now, there are many. Today, there are roofs over new schools, and electricity, and computers in the classroom. Today, this school has been named best in the state. Today, the mortality rate has dropped, thanks to healthy meals served in Wayutaya funded nutrition centers. Today, there's medical help real help with doctors and nurses attending to the needs of hundreds of families. Today, while kids are in school, mothers get life-saving and life-changing nutritional education. They're also introduced to contemporary approaches to hygiene and money matters. And they find work in the Women's Center, where they create unique, beautiful, artistic beaded Wayutaya handbags. Through sales in the United States and elsewhere, the YU women are discovering how to bring money right back into their community. It's a successful model for the rest of the world. Most importantly, distinctive Latin American cultures are able to maintain their time-honored traditions and beliefs. Empowered by caring people they may never meet. But there's more. Today, there is fresh, clean running water pumped from new wells. And with running water, there are working bathrooms, the first in the area. Most of all, today there is the knowledge that there will be better tomorrows. College, advanced degrees, modern professions, a future to embrace. And yet this is only the beginning. The Wayutaya Foundation alone cannot dig the wells, pump the water, build the classrooms, stock the shelves, administer the medicine, and turn on the computers. Without continued support, the Wayutaya Foundation cannot save a single life let alone the thousands they have in the past five years. So today, the Wayutaya Foundation needs the help of individuals who care. 
families willing to reach across borders, and corporations that know what it takes to be responsible citizens of the world. Joining the cause this year is SFK, Spirituality for Kids. SFK's commitment to give children the means to become responsible citizens of the world blends perfectly with the Foundation's goals. Through education, health programs, and job training, the YU people can attain basic human rights. There is nothing more important. Patricia Velasquez, I'm Wayu. Thank you for furthering the good work of the Wayu Taya Foundation. The remarkable accomplishments of the past five years are so visible and so right. They're reflected in the faces of the children, the mothers, the fathers, and all who come to help. Yes, we made tremendous progress in just five years, but we still have so much work ahead. Just imagine what we can do in the next five years together.